Hi, I want to share with you today a tool that I came up with called the Indie Matrix. This is for small business, particularly indie bands, but it could be used by any small business. Now, I may not be the one who came up with this concept, but I'm the one who named this particular chart the Indie Matrix. What it does is it shows you the relationship between fans and dollars and it shows you how much money you can make at certain prices for the number of fans that you have so obviously a, an indie band isn't going to have a million fans unless they somehow get help from a major label or major media or somehow their video goes viral and that's just not really what normally happens with indie artists. So you have to think small scale. Let's say you're selling a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Let's say it's a bundle of software, t-shirts, um, other stuff, songs, albums, and that you're just constantly putting out stuff that 200 people are buying. Twenty thousand dollars is the result. So did I say concert tickets? That could be thrown in there too in that package. So that's on the high end. Not everyone's going to be selling hundred dollar packages. Let's break it down to something more realistic for the common indie artist. Let's say you're selling one song and you have 200 fans. That's 200 bucks a month. Of course if you have an album that has 10 songs and say either they buy the album or they buy all 10 downloads separately that's 2000 a month for 200 fans and the question becomes how realistic would it be to get 200 fans and to get each of them to spend ten dollars a month remember this chart can be used for a week it can be used for a day whatever you want this is just a way to map out you know fans and prices. Let's say that you allow people to use those songs in movies because a lot of people these days are making home movies and they want to use indie music. They don't want to use major label stuff that's going to get them in trouble because it takes too long to get permission and chances are you got to enter some licensing agreement if you do get to talk with someone in the music biz. And let's say 200 fans buy a $100 license, just one, well, that's, uh, isn't that $20,000? <laughs> that's $20,000. So you can see that there's lots of creative ways to make money with the indie matrix. It's just a matter of applying your imagination to this chart.